Whoa! Madness Combat for the second time. Today we are reacting to the injuries that are packed into this Flash animation show by Crinkles. Let's dive right in. Oh jeez. Bad outfit. Get him. Whoa. He's beating people up with his hands only, no arms. You could cause enough trauma to knock somebody out. In Rocky IV, when Ivan Drago hits Creed, what potentially could happen is brain trauma. You can cause different types of fractures of the maxilla, which then compress into the face. It could also cause nasal bone injuries. More likely, it's more bleeding that's occurring with it. I don't know how he's floating. He's got skills. Oh, nice move. So a lot of times we'll see people who have missing tissue for whatever reason, bitten off, shot off. Where do you get the tissue to put back? You don't, you gotta figure it out. There's different techniques that plastic surgeons use to either grow tissue, have nutrients go to a limb. Most of the time you actually have to take it from another site on your body. Plastic surgeons don't just do cosmetic things. They do some pretty amazing things to help people who have major injuries and deformities. Oh, to dodge the bullet. Take that. Keanu Reeves got nothing on you, buddy. You gonna complain about it, Hank? Oh, wow. That would just be brain matter everywhere. It doesn't look like blood. It looks like bubbly red stuff. It's probably the brain matter. Oh, another Krusty the Clown, a different kind. This one's like chompers galore. Look at those teeth. How many teeth do we have as an adult? 32 teeth. A lot of people though get their wisdom teeth removed. And so most people actually have 28 teeth. Oh, what is the caliber of that gun to make such destruction with a simple shot? Whoa, freaking pizza pie cut out of the face. Holy cow. Just laying on the ground there. Can you just put that back in? Nope. Once that I'm out of that trauma, you'll be altered for a very short period of time and then you'll be out cold. Whoa. What type of blade is that? It's like a cross between like a machete and a knife. You got skull flying in air. Never seen these type of injuries before. You're getting into like the midbrain. You're gonna see pawns, your medulla. You're gonna see a lot of different colors. What's up with the yellow guys? Th those guys remind me of like eggs and like the egg yolk. They must have special powers or something. When people come to the ER, they'll tell us that they have a high tolerance for pain. What goes through a healthcare provider's brain is, do you have a high tolerance? Or are you just telling us that? There's a whole pain medication epidemic where people are addicted to opiates because it does help with pain, but actually hits receptors in our body that actually make us dependent on it. They're good medications, but they get abused very easily. Oh, the yellow guy again. We got a couple yellows. Boom, takes the butt stock to the head, crushes the skull. There's no recovery from that in this situation. Oh, see how the blade got stuck in whatever that concrete wall would. That's what happens when it goes into bone. Same idea where it gets stuck. It's not that easy just to rip it back out. Nice. What? Double whammy. Bone on the side of the skull is a little bit thinner than the front and the back. It's the same adage of like, can you shoot three people at the same time? Same idea with the blade. You're gonna have a little bit less force going to the second person, but you could potentially get it in. You also could potentially go through the ear because there's obviously a hole and a defect there. So you can potentially go all the way through. It's just using like backward technique, shooting. Maybe the hands rotate 360 degrees, which we can't. Ours are limited motions. Oh, sliced body in half. I wish we could see like some good old intestines come flying out of there. Oh, blunt trauma to the face. It could cause somebody to get knocked out, get a concussion, potentially see stars. A lot of times when people see stars, then the next step is they get tunnel vision and pass out. Or in the medical world, we use the word called syncope. Cool. So much force that it got thrown through a wall. You know, we see this in movies, games, TV shows. The wall is gonna cause a lot of destruction on the backside. Like you're gonna have some broken bones. These fights go on for so long, the amount of swelling that you're eventually gonna have, it's gonna start building up in your system and you won't be able to close the fist as well or as tightly. 
Oh, there's that backward move. I love it. Ooh. Whoa, using some like magical powers to prevent them from shooting him. Nice. Buried alive. You see in movies all the time where people like get buried alive. There's two ways that you actually die in those situations. One, you lack of oxygen, and the other one is actually you get crush injuries, but then actually decreases the ability for you to expand your chest and actually breathe. Wait a minute, what outfit we got here? We got like some like bionic arm. What? You just ripped his head off. If you were the mountain, maybe you'd be able to pull that off. I've seen where people potentially rip somebody's trachea if they can break through the tissue and the skin and kind of pull that off. It's really hard to rip the head off because you have all the other connected tissue. Oh, he's still going, but he just took a knife to the side of the head. If it's deep enough, that's going straight into the brain. And if it's going even deeper, you can go into where the spinal cord goes up through the skull. Yeah, so he's still functioning, no problem. Whoa! A jab to the knife, straight to the face. When you get like injuries to the mid face right there, they're called Lafort fractures. There's different levels of them. Depends on how much bone is broken and how compressed in it is. Oh, using like, this guy just got booby trapped. Depending on where it's impaled, you're sort of going through intestines, you're going through the stomach. You have a lot of different organs in the abdomen. You could potentially live for a few hours if you don't get off there or don't die right away from some other injury. Like a gunshot to the face. Doesn't that guy with the fake arm remind us of the Mortal Kombat guy, uh, Jax? You know what this actually reminds me of? If you guys ever played the Simpsons arcade game, before you get to the next level, you have to like beat that massive character. Hold on, bro, get him! Get him, save your buddy! Nice. I don't know what that electricity was. Look at that gun. I don't even know what type of gun that is. It's got a cartridge full of bullets in there. I can't wait to see what this like, zips. It's just gonna cut people in half. Oh, there it is, done. I feel like it's almost like cheating. They're just literally cutting people in half. It makes me think of like the last Rambo that was made where it was on the back of a truck with like a big 50 cal. What is this devil? I guess that devil is the one that was like playing with everybody's like strings, so to speak, and giving them like the energy and whatnot. Holy cow. All right, that was amazing. It was a lot of bullets, gunshot wounds, knife wounds. Super cool, very entertaining. Let me know in the comments. If you guys want me to do more reacts to these type of videos, make sure you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on, binge watch all of these videos, and stay healthy, my friends.